Hello everybody, welcome back to Cooking with Brenda and David. Tonight we're going to do something a little old fashioned. And it's okay, food's never really old fashioned if you want it to eat, right? You eat what you want. And what we're going to make is called corned beef casserole. Now we do a lot of casseroles around here because it lasts more than one day and it's good. So, well, first of all, we've decided to get in here and try to get some of this stuff that mom had. You know? Oh, it's up here. Yeah. Whoop, I'm not even showing it. And just some of that stuff mom had enough for a long time ago. Oh, it's right here. You can see the paper's old. What's the date on it? 426 of 69. Gosh, I can't hardly even read it. It's wrote in pencil and smeared. I know, you've been studying on it. All right, go ahead. Well, I think I got it. Let me just, I can read this off or I can tell you what I'm gonna put in it, but I am gonna modify it, okay? You're gonna modify so, the recipe, okay? I'm gonna modify the recipe. Corn beef casserole. Right. right, so I'm gonna get this up to boiling for some um, egg noodles. And I don't have enough water in there, of course. <laughs> I'm gonna drain it so it don't make no difference how much water you put in it. Just put whatever it takes to cook these two types of noodles. You need about eight ounces. I don't know how much that is, but I'm gonna cook them. And hopefully it's gonna be enough. I got another pack somewhere. Might have to cook them all three. I don't know, but you wanna, we'll find out. So do you want to read the ingredients off before you start? You want me to if I can. Okay, what you're going to have, here's what you're going to have in no particular order. You're going to have a can of cream of chicken soup. You're going to have a cup of milk, whatever kind of milk. Normally I use cream, but I got a little extra milk I want to use, so I'm using that. And you need some cheese, whatever kind you want. Typically people use cheddar in this kind of stuff. Which... That looks like a lot too. Well, you need a quarter of a pound. It might not even be enough. Might have to grate some more. Let me read it. I'll read it. <laughs> I'm telling you what I got and what I'm modifying to. Okay, let me have it and I'll do it. Okay, you need a can of... Um, you need eight ounces of macaroni. It's supposed to be egg noodles, macaroni, whatever you want to use. With something like this, the egg noodles works better, I think. Okay, and you need about a half a cup or a half of a green bell pepper chopped. And it's got a quarter of a cup of pimento uh, chopped. I'm not putting pimento. You can if you want, but I'm not. A half a pound of uh, mild cheese, which if that ain't enough, I'll make some more. So, and you need about a half of a diced onion or a small onion. I use sweet onion, and I know there's onions that can be better for stuff. But I have real bad dry eyes. And if I try to do it on onions, I can't stand it. And it's hard to get them to quit. So I used to sweet onions, which are, also taste good. Um, the recipe, like I said, called for evaporated milk. But I used regular jug milk. And we're going to, in the end, everything's going to be mixed together and poured in, in the dish except for <coughs> the noodles. Right. Okay, when I get these cooked, it's going to be on 350 for somewhere around an hour. I don't think it takes an hour. But 30 to 45 minutes is my estimate because the noodles are already cooked. And that's the biggest reason you'd cook it that long and to get the cheese melted. But it's going, well, and the bell peppers are not cooked. So, we'll see. We'll well, it's the first time you're doing it, so who knows? Yeah, we'll right. see. Okay. I could have cooked those peppers, but onions and stuff, but I didn't. It doesn't say to. So we'll be back. And what, here's what I'm doing. I'm using the cheese, jug, jug milk, a cream of, cream of chicken, which this does not call for. Oh, so that's extra, isn't it? Yeah. Okay. And, um, what makes you want to do that extra? Did you read it somewhere else or something? It says macaroni. I'm using this. Oh. And does that say both onion and peppers? Oh, also I'm using cracker crumbs. They don't say that on there. Well, it's going to use them. I'm modifying, remember? What do you think the butter's oh, yeah. for? Well, well, it says sprinkle crumbs. Something about, um, it says. I don't know, it says the something about sprinkle crumbs. The butter is for moisten the crumbs. From what I can read on it. 
The butter's to moisten the crumbs. Any kind of crumbs to moisten, you gotta mm. use butter. What's Oh, let me tell you something. I told David, I said, I had two tablespoons of butter, and I said, hey, melt this for me. I only put it on 30 seconds, and if that thing starts popping, turn it off. Well, guess what he did? He had turned it off when it started popping. He said, well, you ain't got as much butter because it's dripping from the top. And I'm like, oh, no. <laughs> oh, I thought you said it didn't, when it starts popping like popcorn, it's done. Well, I said, <laughs> when it starts popping, turn it off. There's something in there. Did you get it? I see something in there and I just want to see what it is. I don't see it now, but I know it was there. It's extra protein. It's a bug. I thought it was an ant, but I'm not going to use it if there's a bug in it, David. Oh, it's sterilized. Go ahead and cook it. No. You know better now. Him and his friend will eat old dried bugs and stuff. Ugh, not me. It's survival food in case of... We well, have, if I'm having to survive, we'll see about it then, but for now we're not. We're experimenting with survival food. I know I seen something black. I must have got it, but I didn't see it on my hand either. Probably on this old apron. I use this thing to work outside, and I've been doing some stuff outside, and look. Why are you wearing it in here, then? Well, I'll have it changed when we come back. You've got nice ones. Yes, i got all kinds of them. I love aprons. I'd like to have one that shut up. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I was going to say, with every state. Well, shut I up, have, Brenda. There's a few of them that I've seen that you haven't worn in a long time. Did you outgrow them or something? No, or? I've got one from New York, though. and Close. I've got one from New York. And I think that's the only one I got. Only hmm. state. My daughter got me that one. Well, we're going to start digging into some of the old recipe can and yeah, stuff. Yeah, we've uh, got all kinds of good old-fashioned new and all kinds of some yeah. out of here. And, and, you know, some cookbooks from where I'm from. And um, i got a cookbook where I'm from. We're going to make all kinds of stuff out of it. Well, well some, some of it I make, but some of it... The reason why we haven't done much of it, Ken, it's hard for her to read them because it's kind of all faded out and everything. Some of them's got dates from the 30s on her. You know, and some of them so. don't tell you what it is. It gives you ingredients, but I have no idea what it is. <laughs> well, we could cook None. it and make it like a surprise. Yeah. See what it was. Surpri so, yeah. <laughs> We're making a surprise dish tonight. <laughs> a surprise dish. It's dated 19-something, another 30-something. I guess some of that was probably her grandmother's stuff, my mom's grandmother. Could have been. Yeah. Anyway. All right. You know, back then, corned beef and stuff didn't cost nearly as much as it does now. But anyway, we'll be back in just a few minutes. It's on. <laughs> I'm acting stupid. He's fussing. Don't forget to do this and do that. <laughs> Good gracious. I don't, I don't think this is enough noodles. Happy Halloween. That's right. Uh-oh. What? That's hot. So, That's what. That's a greased 9 by 13. That's a greased 9 by 13. And that thing over there has got noodles in it that I drained for you. He drained the noodles for me. Yeah. And I had to tell you how many times I said like this. I said, you're right-handed, ain't you? Hold the bowl like that, David. I can't that. hold much with my oh. hand. <laughs> if you reverse it, it's the same thing, David. Don't you remember I just had carpal tunnel but surgery? But, David, look, I've told you ten times that that goes... You see those two lips there? Okay. The Never ball mind. goes there so it won't spill. Blah, blah, blah. Okay? That's good. I've tried to train my husband, but I don't think you can. He's untrainable, like I said before. Okay. First thing we're going to do is this. I'm going to mix... I'm going to get this soup out of here. Whoops. Whoops, it is That's soup. Yep, that's soup. Soup. Let me see that can. Wait a minute, there's still a little more in there. <laughs> you know, when you're raised with something, it never goes away. And Mommy always said, okay, oh, okay. I got that so and a cup of milk. Chicken condensed soup. Cream of chicken. I told them cream of chicken. They know it's condensed. Baby. You may have too much stuff. Well, I can freeze these onions and stuff. I'm not worried about that. Did you go by the recipe on the measurements? or? Yeah. Huh. No, not in here. I just chopped it up. You oh. know, David, they say chop one onion. How big? 
It, it won't say how big. Just says chop onion. Yeah, that's true. It does say that, don't it? So I have to go by what I got here. So these recipes in this thing over here might be a little tough to work with. Yeah. We call them. Some of them don't even have a name to them. So. And now you're gonna mix everything else together except for the crumbs. So look, I'm gonna, I'm gonna get that all mixed in together. The milk and the the milk and the soup. I'm just trying to blend it in here. Okay. Get it blended in together. Okay, we're going to add some onion, and I don't know, that's only a small onion, and they didn't even put it all in there, but that's not that much pasta. That bowl should be a little fuller. All right, let's do the same thing. Look, I've done a fall mix. Ain't that pretty? A fall mix. Let's put a little bit of them in there. And I have them little teeny tiny ones, those... Eatable, edible ones, eatable, edible, whatever. Uh -oh, something uh, the oven's ready. Let's use the rest of those. Okay, that was probably not a cup, maybe half a cup, three quarters of a cup. All right, the corned beef. He's been eating it, but I don't think I'm going to need it all anyhow, because that's not, like I said, not much pasta. Watch it be way too much stuff here. So this is like testing your skills to limit because you ain't got much to work with on the it's paper. It's very good. It's very good. How you know? We ain't never had it. Maybe well, I'm we'll... sure it is. How can it not be good with all these ingredients? You Maybe got we'll... me? I'm sure I had it when I was a kid. Probably. Probably when I was probably about eight years old or something. I'm going to do something. I don't think I had it, all the cheese it said either, but hey, it's okay. Now it says to do to cut the corned beef up fine, okay? So that's okay. what I did. Yeah, you did do that. Yeah. He'll have that on with the mustard sandwich tomorrow. Mm. It ain't sliced, but I'll mash it together somehow. <laughs> Put it in the bread and mash it in. <laughs> patty cake. Mash them together like you do a peanut butter sandwich. Patty cake, patty cake. Yep, baker's man. Make me a cake. You know, David, that looks really good. I don't know. It doesn't look very appetizing to me. Whoa. Anyway. You are so silly. I'm going to mix it in there. Are you? Yep. Yeah, you know, it didn't say, but I'd, a casserole, I guess you do mix, don't you? Or well, something? I want it all to be mixed in together. Well, that would make sense. And you put the cheese and everything in there, didn't you? Yeah. yeah. So it says mix it all together. Well, it's beginning crumbs. to look a, looks a little bit better now. The crumbs you don't mix in. I'm adding the crumbs. Well, that, I th that thing did say something about crumbs on that paper. Did it? Yeah. Oh. Oh, okay. Well, I'm adding it all either way. You know what? Maybe it's going to be okay. It don't have to run over. Except i got to get all this out. Mommy, I'm going to tell you, she left us, there was a lot of us, and you know, that right there might be, it's that's two or three bites for someone, and that's the way she's seen it. Get it all out there. Well, times was hard, and I can understand that. Mm, it look, looks good. I've Mom had to start working, and, and Dad didn't like it, but we had the only way to make it. So a lot of times she learned this thing called Hamburger Helper when it first come out and at first it was pretty good then after a while we got to where i don't know we didn't like it too much i mean but it's because you had it too much sort of like beans yeah but it came but, out of a box right or yeah did it? was it had to be fast thing because she's working you and know? you can make the cheeseburger hamburger helper uh, cheeseburger helper and stuff homemade you don't even have to i mean you know what's in it why did I remember that? I've forgotten all about that. Well, I guess you that, know, there was a lot of us. There were seven kids and mommy color, and daddy and always. That made me remember We're looking at that. You know, looks like other that. family members, somebody always there. So there was a lot of us. And daddy worked. Oh, yeah. Mom was feeding all the kids and stuff. And daddy worked. You had neighborhood kids and everything yeah, to feed. Yeah, you had neighborhoods, neighborhood kids all down through the woods and stuff. And Now, I was supposed to mix that in. I just did that, okay? All right, do we have another bowl somewhere? Come in our bowl, would you please, David Hall? Come on, right here's one. Oh, 
Ah, it didn't work. What didn't work? Come over and get this recipe. No, I see that. <laughs> gone. you, you uh, would have scared me half to death. <laughs> I had it planned. I had them breadcrumbs laying on top of it. So I figured... It, it was <laughs> under them, wasn't it? Yeah, it was under them. It didn't work. <laughs> I was trying to play a joke. Halloween joke. Didn't work. I said, golly, I've been trying to sneak that in here. And I snuck it in here, put underneath them crumbs. You didn't even see it. I don't know if that's going to be enough butter or not, David. I don't know how much drip from the ceiling. Here, just throw it in there and cook it with it. Here you go. Just throw it in there. <laughs> I ain't got these chopped up enough either. Why did I do that? Huh? Why? I need some liquid butter. Hey, I got some liquid butter. Yeah, it's dripping off the top of the microwave. No, I got some powder butter. I sure do. I ain't never heard Come of Come from it. Amazon. Not too bad, but I'm sure it ain't good for you, but it's not too bad. I don't think that was enough butter, but I, I mean, you got to have enough to go across the top. Just let me work with it here another minute. What's that? I'm always looking for something, you know, and it's just a herb or something. That's all. I know you're worried to death about a bug being in something. I don't want to eat no bugs, not an ant or nothing now. I see one every now and then, but well, we got I this think thing. They're getting ready for the winter. Well, we got this thing flying around once in a while, and it's a little bitty moth, and you called it a pantry it's moth. It's a pantry moth, yeah. and it's after something that's supposed to be too old, but I don't know what it is. I don't know. It might be after us. <laughs> us old folks. Huh? <laughs> Hey, we might do something that's going to be a surprise for y'all. I'm hoping David will. I mentioned it. So, y'all said uh, something more than cooking, but I don't know. He's hard to get him to do anything that's new, you know. I've been he's trying to get you to go to the beach for the last 15 years. I told y'all and told y'all and told y'all that he's got an antique heart, and he does. He's antique through and through. He likes antiques, and there's nothing wrong with that, but... Not everybody does. Some things, he likes antique everything, but I don't. Some antique furniture and stuff's pretty, but he's like this show you see on TV. It's It's got, um, it's called uh, Pickers, American Pickers. And I'm going to tell you what, they got rust and grease running through their blood. Well, so we, we ain't got no cable or satellites or nothing like that. So we, whatever we can pick off the antenna. If we pick well, I it think up, we do pretty good. I think we do pretty good. We get, I don't know, probably 10 channels, or you know, and and so they're playing. I didn't even know it existed last year, and, and we got to watching it, and 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 it's pretty a good show. I like it, yeah. But they're playing, this is not going to be very much of this, okay. But what's here, I think the, the cheese will bind to it, and but I used however much it said. And you don't need that much. It looks okay, I think. Like I said, it's not that much of it, but I've used what it says. So you just mashed all them cookies up. Well, see, up. I don't know how to modify this until after I've done it the first time. Now, if I want a whole sheet of this next time, how about this? <laughs> what if a guy had graham crackers or something? Well, I've got Ritz crackers. You know, that's another thing. I try to make some things as cheap as I can because, you know, if there's a family that's really having a hard time and I know how to do it, then I do it. Well, the most expensive thing on this was the corned beef. And let me ask you a question. I don't remember it saying to cover that up or anything, did it? No, it didn't say anything. Well, we're going to put her in But that's head. up to you. You're the... So we got a Grease 9x13 on 350 and... Um, Says for one hour, I don't think it'll take an hour, but we'll check it and see, okay? Right. And I'll definitely let y'all know how long it took. Okay. So we'll be back in a few minutes. Okay. Anyway, we'll be back in a few minutes, right. and I'll let y'all know how, how it is. Okay, I figured this out. If you put the peppers and onions, you better let it cook for an hour. If you don't, 30 minutes is good, okay? So I went for the hour. Looks delicious. Smells good too. Woo. Of 
Don't that look good? Woo! Let me do it. I just hope I can, David. Let me get over there. Oh boy, that was dangerous. Know, because it's been going weak from here <laughs> to here for some reason. What's in that one? Carrots. Carrots. Boiled carrots. And this is some greens. Submarines? Goreens. Oh. Turnip but goreens. Some Turnip goreens. And then I gotta mess up another spoon. Okay. See what you got over here. Corn, what was it called again? Corn beef casserole. Corn beef casserole. Should let me get it out. <laughs> My nose is itching. It's just itching. Nothing else. That's it. What was you looking at over there? I don't think that would be that good without pepper and onion. Do mm -hmm. you? Do what now? I don't think it would be very good without the pepper and onions. I wasn't looking at nothing. I was just trying to uh, scratch my nose with that paper towel when I turned my back. Sorry. Sorry for being so polite. <laughs> Hurry up. That's probably long enough. They're popping too, aren't they? Right here's another thing. That is old as the hills, and it's stained up, but I still yet use it. Works good. You know, you can hold it. See, it's got that on there, and it's just terry on the other side, but you don't feel the heat. Okay, David. Now, something I usually do, I want you to do, okay? And that is, whenever... I get this plate done. I want you to take a picture. Oh, you can't take a picture, can you? Well, I can after I cut it off. Okay. Oh. I you don't know do any way to get that out except just scoop it out. Mmm. When that cheese starts... Um, well, it might set up after it cools. I think that's what I'm getting ready to say. When that cheese starts cooling and that sets up, that... Oh. Look how pretty that is, David. Isn't that pretty? Looks all fallish, don't it? That's why I use four colors of peppers to get the fall look. But then you got this one color here. Oh, well, you know me. I'm colorblind. I can't... You don't care one way or the other. Okay. And we're going to have some seasoned turnip greens. I did not, I took these out of a can, okay? We love those things. You'll put vinegar. You want more? Now, we still don't, do we still have some of that uh, watercress? I do. I need to cook us up some of that. Well, and you cook it when you can it, but you also have to still do something else. Yeah, with, that's some that you and your mom can and stuff. And, and me and you. These are all cooking some butter. We didn't do salt. no water press this year. No, we didn't. Kind of didn't really want to, you know? Just, yeah. Just yeah. the way it That's is. That's good. Thank you. You know, but we can't forget our spot back home. We can't forget. Okay, the main thing that you're going to try, David, is this. Mm -hmm. You know what everything else tastes like. Now. Right. There's a lot of color going on on here. I'm not going to use any garnish unless you want me to. How about that? <laughs> <laughs> How about that, David? Well, that put a little color back into it, too, then, I guess. You've got the light block. So, I hope... I want you to taste this and see if it's any good. All right. You want me to get you a bite? Get you, get you, get you a man-sized bite. It looks delicious with that cheese in through there. Good gracious. 
It's well, still really hot, David. Well, you know how I am. Go ahead and do yeah. your normal smacking. <laughs> Too hot to smack, huh? No, actually it's not. Is it good? Yeah, it's it's good. Is it good enough yeah. for everybody to make? I think it's good enough. Uh, for, good for enough. some I mean I mean good for I was hoping to get more of a No, I wanna take a picture of that, okay? I was hoping to get more of a presence of the corned beef. Well, you know you you're supposed to cut it up real fine. But that's just the way it is. No, that that was good. That second bite was better. Yeah, because maybe yeah, you got more into it with the, mm -hmm. the corned beef is. Look at it all right here. Look. Yeah. It's everywhere. Okay. Like it should be. Okay, y'all. I think it's good. Thank you to yeah. all the it's, new it's, subscribers. It's worth, it's worth making. Yeah, okay, good. Hello, Nettie. We, Hello, oh, Nettie. We love you, Nettie. We, uh, Brenda found a letter that she had, uh, wrote for Nettie, and how old is it? It's, it's about two or three years old. Yeah, I said, what? Well. <laughs> I thought I mailed it, and I didn't. So, Nettie, you have a letter coming. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we, we, it's hard for you to do anything like that, so I don't know if I'm we can. I'm going to write you a letter. Maybe I'll redate that one and send it to you. I how told you not that? do that. Just send the old one. That's but, what I want to do. Send the old one. But don't redate it. Oh, uh, what's this right? Something you was looking at right here. Oh, look at this. I'm going to make this next. It's called a crazy crust apple pie. That's old. So, it's old. There's no date on it that I see. Let me see it one time. That's something know. she clipped out of something the other. No, it was out of your tin. Yeah, I know. That's what I'm saying. Oh, your mom clipped it out of something. And it's old, though. Look how yellowed it is. Yeah, all that stuff's really old. So anyway, that might be something other. So we, this is next. I'm telling you, this is next. She's got the hankering for that. I yeah, tell. I like it. It looks good. It's something that makes its own crust or something. Makes its own. It's <laughs> watch me fall. Good it's day, the crazy boy. crust, like an impossible pie. It makes its own crust, mm -hmm. and this makes its own crust. So we're gonna check it out and see. We'll do it together. How about okay. that? All right. I'm not gonna do it ahead of time. We're gonna do it like we did this one. Okay. Okay, I hope y'all enjoyed the video. Thank you to all the new subscribers. We finally hit 30,000. That's a miracle. I know. I'm so happy about it. We're going to get the videos coming. We got some talk I'm talking to David about some other stuff, but David's kind of scared. Not scared, I'm but scared. he has to tiptoe into stuff, okay? He's not sure. But I know he can do it. I know he can do it. So. Yeah. Anyhow, y'all, I will. We will see y'all real soon. We'll do another. Maybe that'll be tomorrow. But anyway, we'll see y'all soon. Yeah, this is just a surprise thing, and it wouldn't. So it, it's worth making. It's worth making. It's easy, and 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 it is worth making. You know, I think it's good. You haven't tried it yet, so you'll see. You want to try a piece of it real quick before we go? No, that's okay. Try a piece of it. Let me get my own fork. That's all right. You can use that one. Yeah, and then you'll get another one. So just let me get my own anyway. Mm, I got a piece of pepper and onion and the... Mm, I got lucky. It's good. Mm, it is good. Yeah. It's real good. Very tasty. Mm -hmm. And I got my favorite part right here just now. You're part of the a, you're getting burnt cheese. <laughs> yeah, he likes to burn. I, I have to get everything like that because he likes it. That's on purpose. So, but yeah, you're tasting several good taste of cheese and mm -hmm. the corned beef, and I even tasted the onion. I think kids would even eat it. Maybe you can't make them little things happy anymore. <laughs> hey, when we was growing up, Daddy said, "Get in there and eat." I don't, you didn't say I don't like, because he's like, get in there and eat or else. <laughs> you know, we was watching the pickers while ago, and this older gentleman said, oh, we got our paints dusted back then. We did too. We got them dusted or we did what we was told. It wasn't, and I don't like that. I want chicken nuggets and throw a little tantrum. No, we ate what mommy cooked. And a lot of people had to do like that back then. Kids are different now. Oh, yeah. Alrighty. God bless them and God bless all of you. We love you and we'll see y'all soon. Bye.